In this video, I'm going to detail how to load the PFA software onto your chart so that you can get started as quickly as possible. So we've done our best to make this process as efficient and user-friendly as possible. Now, the first thing that we want to do is open a NinjaTrader chart. And for those of you who are not familiar with NinjaTrader, I'm going to briefly walk you through this process. So first, I'm going to bring over the NinjaTrader Control Center. I'm going to left click new and in the drop down menu here I'm going to left click chart. That's going to bring up a data series dialog box. We can then select the information such as the instrument as well as the time frame and type of chart that we would like to load. So we can select any market we have data for and for all intents and purposes I could select a 60 minute chart and then I could left click OK. What I'm going to end up with is a blank or empty chart without any additional software on it. Once I have that blank chart up, I have multiple ways of actually loading the PFA software, so I'm going to do my best to walk you through multiple uh, methods here. That being said, we will be discussing templates much more in depth throughout the remainder of the presentation, so I'm only briefly going to touch on them here to simply get the software loaded onto your chart quickly. The first method that we're going to discuss is to simply load the indicator directly from the chart itself. So what I can do is up at the top of the chart, we'll notice there's an icon and if I hover my mouse there I'll see indicators. So I simply want to left click that. Alternatively, I could right click from my chart anywhere from within the chart and I could left click indicators. So both of those are going to take you to the same place and they're both going to pop up an indicators dialog box. At this point the PFA zone suite is not included on the chart as we previously discussed so now we need to add that so we can configure it. I'm going to scroll down to locate the PFA zone suite. I can double click this or double left click this to add it into the configured column or I can simply select it and then left click add and again those are going to really do the same thing and as I mentioned we are going to be discussing templates further in the presentation so right now let's just understand that we're going to be providing a few default templates as you can see in the select drop down menu here so one could start with the default or as I prefer it we could start with the PFA LTF LTF being the acronym simply for larger time frame as far as the rest of the settings go, there are zero changes that need to be made at this time. So we can simply select from the drop down menu. In this particular scenario, I'm going to select the LTF. I'm going to left click and I'm simply going to click OK. So that is indeed one way of getting the software onto your chart. Something to note here. If for all intents and purposes you may have your chart set just the way that you want it or perhaps you use other third party software, this is actually a great option to do that without the necessity of a chart template so that you don't have to remove or change your current chart color scheme and preferences. However, if you're loading for the first time for all intents and purposes or perhaps you just want to make it extremely easy on yourself, what one can do is load the chart template in itself. Now the chart template is indeed going to include our software and all of this has already been installed for you so it will be there. What we can do is right click the chart, hover our mouse over templates and select load. That's going to bring up our available chart templates. You should indeed see PFA Zone Suite, PFA LTF and of course SDF. So as I mentioned before, I prefer the LTF as I'm on a rather large time frame. So I'm going to left click PFA LTF and I'm simply going to click the load button. And by doing so, not only am I altering the chart to the template via the color scheme and so on, but I'm actually loading the PFA software as well. So as I said previously, this is actually being done in the back end for you as with any NinjaTrader chart template and as you can see here the software loaded and we are now ready to begin using PFA software and making any change that we desire